So Citizen University, the, the nonprofit organization that I run, um, all of its work in one form or another is about trying to um, democratize people's understanding of how power operates in civic life. Uh, and sometimes that's literally in an educational curricular format, sometimes that's more in um, organizing people to practice uh, powerful citizenship uh, in, in different settings. Uh, sometimes it's in things that don't look obviously political or civic, uh, but perhaps like a gathering like this, uh, are uh, curated, orchestrated settings where people learn to practice all of the skills and values that go into being useful and effective in democracy, right? Uh, listening and engaging and trying to make sense of where consensus exists and, and doesn't and, uh, and, and so forth. And so um, that's a lot of work we do. And power is um, very explicitly a big part of the focus because of my kind of underlying belief that a lot of people in a lot of situations don't like talking about power. Uh, it is a topic that just seems a little bit inherently negative or dirty. Uh, and. Uh, and people feel a little bit sheepish about talking about it. They certainly feel sheepish about saying they, they would like to have more power, um, whether in their personal lives or their professional lives or their civic or political identities. And, and, and a result of this, I think, reluctance to talk bluntly and honestly about power is that those who already know how to exercise power, those who know how to make stuff happen, end up having disproportionate voice and power. They end up monopolizing the opportunity to understand and learn how you get stuff done in a city, in a province, in a state, in a country, you know, in business, in, uh, in, in every dimension of life. But I think the other piece of it really, quite frankly, is just that a lot of my career coming out of uh, college was in politics. Uh, I worked in Washington, D.C. for many years. I worked on Capitol Hill and I worked for President Clinton, uh, two different stints, uh, and I came to be quite well-versed in power. Uh, I came to understand quite clearly how stuff gets done. Uh, and, and not just kind of how a bill becomes a law, right? but how people get issues on an agenda. How, why some causes, worthy as they may be, never make it uh, onto the agenda. Why some unworthy as they may be do make it onto the agenda. Uh, why it is and how it is that people, again, in a democratic context, respond to certain things and leaders respond to certain kinds of citizens. And all of those things that I learned and internalized and practiced over many years in Washington, D.C., um, I came to feel like when I um, left Washington, D.C., that again, it would not be right to hoard that knowledge. But the point of having had that experience was now to share that experience and to uh, make it more visible, more accessible, and more palpable to more people. Uh, so that people could actually have a bit more faith in, um, in the possibility of citizenship in, um, in, in my country, in the United States.